week-long hiatus and we are here in Athens, Ohio at Rathacon. This is my second year at this convention. If you guys have been watching for a while, you might remember the first vlog. This is Anne's first time here. This convention seems to just keep growing and growing, so I'm very excited to see what is new this year. Yeah, very polite. <laughs> Guys, I'm vlogging from inside the TARDIS. I'm going to assume this is some sort of like shield <laughs> to hide the actual inside. This is some sort of Gallifreyan tech. It's hidden. We just took pictures with it. It was really fun. Something amazing just happened. <laughs> I made a purchase. I made a very solid purchase, I feel like. Wouldn't you agree? Two. Yeah, two solid, two solid purchases. But then I just bought, I just bought Star Lord's gun. I love it. I'm so happy. And it I'm up like and giggling. I'm so happy about this. Oh yeah, it lights up and makes noises. It's important to know. We watched the kids cosplay contest. It was awesome. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Everybody spins a web any size, catches thieves just like flies. All right, get out of here. <laughs> tell you that little girl dresses Tom Servo was robbed she made me so happy I just geeked out over that little girl that was brilliant and her parents were behind us and they were telling us like what her costume was made of she had like a piece of an oatmeal <laughs> box yeah. on her head it was just it was so brilliant and so creative I can't believe she didn't win anything you were awesome Tom Servo respect so back here is all the stuff that's getting raffled off and you buy a ticket and then you put your ticket in the little bag and you can potentially win the stuff last year if you guys remember I won like everything and so I didn't I bought 12 tickets but I didn't put my name in as much stuff as I normally do so it's just like one two three four five five things I went to win and one I went like really big on so um, next time you see me I'll either be really happy or really sad you also entered the raffle yes what are you hoping for uh, there's some Harry Potter house coasters <laughs> I'm very close to you now I'm yeah. sorry <laughs> There's some Harry Potter house coasters, some flower crowns, and a coloring book because I'm an adult. Nice. I hope you win. Me too. There's nothing we're like against each other on. Cool. You yeah. Can Sweet. Didn't win anything. And one stuff though. I want a crown. You want two crowns. And, crown. and a Elliot. And, and that thing. And this. You want it. I want it this on Congratulations. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> all right, guys. So it is the day after Rathacon. We wound up going out to a local brewery afterwards. And Athens is kind of a hike. So by the time we got home, it was just too late to be doing anything. I did want to show you the stuff I picked up at the convention. You did already see my favorite. This was from Wilson's House of Cosplay. And this, my dear friends, is my Star Lord Bless. Star Lord Bless is my Star Lord Blaster. Yeah, see like it loads. This makes me feel really cool. I have like the little kid toy versions of this because I'm a lazy cosplayer and I just bought the toys, um, but this is definitely an upgrade. So I feel like I'm moving on up in the world and the price is really good and I love it. Wilson's House of Cosplay, they are awesome. I did pick up a print. Unfortunately, I don't remember the name of the artist. I didn't get a card and I can't really read. Po Pogo, P-O-H-G-O. I'm so sorry, but I got this silk print. It's really cute. I'm working on a new background for my videos. It's gonna be like all badass female characters you guys know how i love those i thought this would be a really cute addition 
to that background. The age-old question, if you go to a Comic-Con and you don't buy any Funko Pops, did you actually go to that Comic-Con? If you have a problem like I do, the answer is no, you did not. It wasn't real. It didn't really happen. It was all a dream. I visited this booth last year and I picked up one of my absolute favorite Funko Pops. It's a She-Hulk. It glows in the dark. I love it so much. You guys know I only collect the female characters. I was really hoping they would come back because she gave me a ridiculous deal. We had a whole talk about how I only collect girls. It was, it was good. We connected on the Funko Pop collector level. I was so glad to see they were back and they were back with a lot more girl characters that I don't have yet. The price was five for 20. Bless. Four of them are girls because they only had six girl characters and two of them were repeats. I already had a Scarlet Witch. My friend Kyra just gifted me that one. And I just picked up a Spider Gwen, wishing I hadn't because it would have been nice to bundle in that. So it goes. I got four pops for me and I got one for Chad. The pops for Jess are this White Canary DC Legends of Tomorrow. Somebody told me once I should cosplay this. It does not look comfortable. I got Electra, Katana, and Black Widow, the Civil War version. I was really hoping I could find the redhead. No offense to blonde Black Widow. I like you too, but I mean, it's really, it's, Black Widow's got red hair. You guys know that. And the last one I picked up is a gift for Chad. I got him Superman. Superman is his absolute favorite superhero. And it's a really cute Funko and he's like flying. He's got a little pedestal, he's up in the air. Chad is not a Funko Pop guy. Um, I couldn't, it's, it's five to 20. What was I supposed to do? Um, and this is really cute, so I do think he's going to like this. The last things I got at Rathacon, I just thought they were cute, and I got the Star-Lord gun, so I thought this would look cute on the shelf with the Star-Lord gun. I got these two little dorbs. They weren't in the box, so they were just very cheap, just a couple of dollars each. And I got a little Gamora and a little Nebula, and won't they be so cute with all my Guardian stuff? Adorable. That's why they call them dorbs. So that is going to do it for my Rathacon haul. If you guys have the chance to check out the convention, it's in Athens, it happens once a year. It's a good time, it's a smaller convention. If you have any kind of like social anxieties, but want to kind of dip your toe into the convention waters, I recommend that one, it's a good one, like a good starter convention. It's a cool place, I like it. I'll be back. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below if you were at Rathacon, or if you would like to come next year. I'll be there, so say hi. Counting on you to remember that for an entire year. Also on a scale of 1 to 10, how freaking cool do I look holding this blaster? <sighs> I don't know the answer to that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you in another video. Bye!